So we're out here in front of Houston's uh, industrial waste dump on Blue Ridge Boulevard. And this is the site where the Christopher Sales, the person who was killed uh, after running into that mobile home in the Independence, Kansas City line happened. And you see there's all this dust here from this construction waste. And this is what Christopher hit that caused him to start skidding as he was being uh, engaged in a high-speed pursuit in a residential area. So this is the exact starting point and you can see it's just a couple feet right after and there's like dust here and oil spots and stuff. So um, he hit all this dust and started to swerve and the police came through and did their quote unquote investigation and uh, put little dots on all these skid marks. So these are where Christopher Sales' vehicle started swerving where he was trying to stay on the road while he was engaged in a high speed pursuit by independent city cops in a residential area. And here you can see the second set of dots picks up. And then he's, he appears to kind of be going back and forth as the dots are sort of maybe crossing over. It looks like he ran off the road here a little bit and then it ends. So this little end mark here, he must have recovered and got back going straight again. Oh, nope, he's still off the road over here. There's dots off the side of the road here. As the Independence Police Department was initiating a high-speed chase through a residential neighborhood. based on what we understand as a uh, some sort of traffic violation at a stoplight. Christopher Sales apparently gained the attention of this cop at a stoplight and the cop tried to pull him over and he didn't want to pull over and so the cop initiated a high-speed chase through a residential area. Again, this is the seventh high-speed chase on this road in seven days. Um, one of the residents who lives here had been posting on their social media on day number six. They were saying, this is day six of high speed chases. Tomorrow's lucky number seven. And on uh, lucky number seven was when they shot and killed Christopher Sales, totaled somebody's car, almost killed a baby in someone's home. So you can see all this way that we've been walking up the road. There's still all these little pink skid swerve marks. And the little pink paint designates where the, the tire um, skid marks are. All four tires were skidding at this point and the skid marks crossed over each other. where he hit this gate in the vehicle he was driving which was allegedly stolen we don't know if it was uh, quote unquote stolen from a parent or a relative as in like borrowed without permission um, or if it was like some mad hijacking thing that that was going on um, we haven't gotten any information about that but the vehicle that he was driving crashed here and at which point um, something happened that resulted in him being fatally wounded and also getting into an unattended cop car that was left with the door open and the keys in it and the car running. So um, he got out of that vehicle, got shot, got into the cop car, and then proceeded off over here. As he bled out. In the cop car as he was bleeding out.
Here's another memorial right here. So apparently he was just flooring it through here uh, while bleeding out. So maybe was having some involuntary muscle things going on. Not sure about that. Uh, but he was going really fast when he ran off the road. Let's go to the other side. So he hit this curb, which um, doesn't have any kind of guardrail or anything. Um, there's no street lights. Uh, this granted, now this was 11 a.m. on a perfectly beautiful summer morning, on a Monday morning, so um, that, that isn't necessarily an issue of not having street lights for this particular incident. But in general, pitch dark curves with people's homes right here on the curve uh, is dangerous. So I don't know if you can see the tire tracks, but we'll walk right within them. So this is the path that that they took, that he took coming down into the trailer park. Okay, so there's one of the tire marks through the grass where he came through. And then this car here that's totaled um, slowed down the cop car, which continued on in this path, um, running straight this direction. It hit this car and spun it around a couple times and slammed it into that other car, and then went straight through into this person's yard over here. So it came straight through here. Here's the pink marks where they pick up again. And then that car was parked directly in its path and got spun around and slowed the progress of the cop car uh, enough that it didn't bust through the front door here, but it did um, destroy their porch, their gazebo, all their lawn and yard stuff. And um, there was a baby standing on the other side of that front door that got thrown about three feet when the cop car hit the door, which luckily that little white car slowed it all down enough so that the baby was not seriously injured.